In this really quick video guide, I want to show you how you can use different types of materials. Uh, you can download and use these materials from BlenderKit totally free. So uh, we have a lot of assets in BlenderKit that we can use for free. Otherwise, you have to log in, create a profile, log in, and then you can also buy more advanced uh, stuff. So in this video, we're going to focus on the materials because BlenderKit offers uh, a lot of uh, objects, 3D models, and uh, also other assets, but we're going to focus on materials in this video. So first of all, you need to have Blender Kit installed in Blender and you can use it only in Blender. But when your model is ready and your material is assigned, you can also export for other software like 3ds Max, Cinema 4D or others. And you will find video courses in our channel about Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Blender, uh, many, many more. So you just uh, have a look to the playlist in the channel. And so let's proceed and let's see how we can set up everything right here. So let's get start from the beginning. I'm going to go here and do a new general. And now let's get the add-on that we need. I already showed the process of uh, installing in detail uh, Blender Kit, but it's really simple. You just need to go here in Google and search for Blender Kit, go here. And this is the, the main page. Just click on download and wait for the zip file to be downloaded. You can save it in your download folder or anywhere you want. And it's really easy to, to do. So I, if you are if you have any difficulties to do this, you can check the other video guide about Blender Kit in the channel or write in the comments if you have questions and you need assistance. So once it's downloaded, you need to go to Edit Preferences and then you go to Add-ons. And here, if it's not already in here, you can see it's already in here because I've already installed it, but you shouldn't see this one here. So you need to go to Install. Navigate in your download folder, select the zip file and just say install. And then you should see it right here. If you don't see it, you can search for it by typing here Blender Kit. And there it is. So all you need to do now is to check this on. And the first time you're going to uh, install it and activate it, you will see also a video tutorial right here that is going to show you everything. But that's what uh, we're going to see a little bit also in this video guide. So I close the, the window there, I can close the preference window as well. And now to start already to drop in stuff from Blender Kit, I can use this uh, bar right here on the top and I can move from models to materials and other assets, but we're going to focus on materials. So I'm going to select this one here, which is find materials. And you can see that many materials are already displayed. So I can click on these arrows, I can go back and forward and I can just click and drag and drop the material onto my object in Blender. It's going to take a few seconds or minutes depending on your internet connection speed. And uh, you need to wait for this to be totally green. Now the material is there, but we cannot actually see it because we need to change the uh, visualization. So if we go here in the viewport shading, we need to switch from solid, which is kind of the default in Blender, into the next one, which is the material preview. So this is how we can actually preview the material on the object. So you can see it looks really beautiful. It has uh, 3D uh, normal effects or bump or also called sometimes displacement, depending if it's real 3D or fake 3D in this case. It's, uh, we can see the fake 3D effect. But if we switch in the render mode, we can actually see if this is a fake 3D or is a real displacement. And also we can change the position of the light to see a little bit better. There you go. And this is uh, the standard EV render. So if you want to see a little bit better the material, you can go into cycles, which is the more advanced. So we can see that this hasn't uh, that it doesn't have the, the displacement, it's just a fake 3D. And this is just uh, an example, of course. Now, uh, you can move into the shading interface, which is kind of more, uh, more interesting when you work with materials, because down here you can actually see the material. So if I select the object, we can see all the nodes that have been created for these materials, and we can also get the texture. So if I, uh, well, we don't have textures here, this is all procedural. So it's not done with the images. So let's get another one. And actually, let's get another object. Let's uh, select like the monkey of Blender so we can see a little bit 
a more complex geometry and also apply a complex material. So these are all like PBR and also they, many of these are multi-layer materials. They are really complex, so they're really beautiful and realistic. And you have glass, you have metal and all sorts of things. So uh, first of all, I want to change the, the view here. So right click on the object and do shade smooth so I can view the, the monkey smooth. And right here we're using an HDRI that, that is already in Blender in this shading interface. So it's, it's going to make reflection look better. And before we can, we can apply the material, we can change here the resolution of and increasing the, the polygons of the mesh. So let's go here in subdivision surface. So in the modifier properties, and let's increase these levels of uh, detail in the viewport and also if you want in the render. Now, if you're interested in Blender, you will find a video course also and other video guides and other video courses in the channel. Also, also other um, software if you are interested in discovering other software. So right now, this is kind of a mix of different categories of material. But if we move forward here and click on this button, we can filter and we can see, for example, only plastics or we can move into fabric, concrete, ceramic and many many more. Now I selected this rocky tutorial because I want to show you here that this contains actual images. So it has an image for ambient occlusion, it has an image for uh, the base color, the diffuse, the roughness, the normal. So you can get all these texts right here, you can access them from here, you can see them, you can export them and also if you go in text and paint mode you have other options here. If you go to image, you can save it and so on. So you can export it as well. So you can customize using nodes also here in Blender and you can also change the scale. Now, when you increase the scale, you're gonna make things actually smaller. So it's, it's more like increasing the tiling than the scale. So if you put this value smaller, you're gonna have a bigger scale of the texture onto the model. Now, if you're looking for something in particular, you can search for here something specific, like let's say uh, rust metal. So it's gonna show you all these multi-layer materials that you can use. Just again, it's just the same. So you just click on drag and see here what you can customize if you want to change things. And lastly, let's drop in this one here. You have also glasses. So let's go into the glass category. Now to see glass, you need to render. So some of the materials, you can preview them without any problem, but sorry, not grass, but glass. And, but when you're talking about transparency and uh, transparent materials, you need to have cycles turned on. So you need to have a, a, a render engine that supports transparency. So we can see this is now Kind of a glass monkey head. Now uh, to finish, I uh, just want to show you that you also have here, well you have categories you can filter and you can see you have procedural and texture, so the ones that use procedural maps and the ones that use images and also quality limits and other stuff and if you press N or if you open up the the bar or the panels here on the right, you also have here the blender kit panel so it's pretty similar with the little eye you can turn on and off this stripe of materials or you can also click here and um, you also have search filters again right here and categories so it's just the same of the of the bar at the top but it's just uh, another like less compact version of the same things so this will be all for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the channel. If you want to support us, join the channel as a supporters. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video guide.